Tonight's Tool Time Award goes to a man who's all about fear-mongering and war-mongering and bombing and everything scary and bad, basically. You see, there is no massive news event that goes without comment these days. And that's especially true for former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton. He's been featured several times on this program in the past for his ridiculous comments. And he's back with another one, this time relating to Egypt. See, he's one of the few public figures who've actually spoken out in favor of Mubarak's regime. And he was on Sean Hannity's radio program talking about the ripple effect of a new democratic government taking over in Egypt. So somehow, the man who loves to push the idea of bombing Iran has tied his mission into Egypt's revolts. How am I not surprised? Just take a listen to this. Is, do you think that the Israelis are going to have to uh, strike and it's got to be a, a, they are going to have to take action? In other words, the world doesn't seem to be supporting them. As you pointed out, Al-Baradei, um, you know, ran cover for the Iranians for all those years that he was with the, uh, the IAEA. And uh, I just don't think the Israelis have much longer to wait. I mean, either we're going to either live in a world with a nuclear Iran and a threat to their very existence, or they're going to have to act in fairly short order. I think that's right. I Did you get all that? Basically, Bolton thinks that the potential successor to Mubarak, Mohammed al-Baradai, is a secret agent for Iran. And that would leave Israel with only days left to bomb Iran before the secret spy comes into power. I mean, that is really scary stuff, John Bolton. But why do I feel like we've been in this situation before? Do you remember when Russia helped Iran with a shipment of nuclear fuel to start Iran's first nuclear reactor? Once that uranium, once those fuel rods are very close to the reactor, certainly once they're in the reactor, as you say, attacking it means a release of radiation, no question about it. Uh, so if Israel's going to do anything against Bushir, it has to move in the next eight days. If they don't... Well, let's just say it's been more than eight days, and we're still here. So come on, Bolton. Nobody's buying your BS rhetoric anymore. I would love to see your method of thinking, of just, just to find out why everything with you revolves around bombing Iran. A tree could fall in the woods, and you would say bomb Iran. A random book printed in Iran can be found in the Arizona desert, and you and Fox News will talk about the need to bomb Iran. Now, I'll stop now, but let's be honest here. If Israel bombed Iran, this would have serious implications for the entire world. We have no need for more wars. So since you're so consistent in your calls for blowing up Iran, you've won the coveted title of tonight's Tool Time winner.